And ever since getting involved in Tony Hawk, uh, I have been, been seen as more of a bad boy in the CEO world. I come from the net, through systems, peoples, and cities, to this place, Mainframe. Ray Maker Animation, formerly known as Mainframe Entertainment. You'll recognize them as the CG animators behind the Ratchet and Clank film, Reboot, and Transformers Beast Wars. But like one's entire existence during school, Rainmaker has done things they regretted, such as Tony Hawk's Boom Boom Sabotage. I made a boom boom. A 2006 straight-to-video film where professional skateboarders get kidnapped by circus freaks and the kids got to rescue them, starring Tony Hawk. It keeps me connected to my peeps, if, if you know what I mean. This looks promising from the DVD bonus features, as donated to me by Nolan from my own podcast. Send me stuff to my P.O. box in the description. The DVD features gush about how they use motion-captured skateboarders such as Tony Hawk and other skaters that exist in real life that aren't Tony Hawk. The mocap really does the skating justice. How many times has a cartoon tried hard to look cool with unrealistic extreme sports sequences? Well, here's the real deal. They got all the elements for authentic skateboarding animation. So, how much effort was put into writing a story? <laughs> this is gonna be a classic! Don't get your hopes up. I already reviewed Super Duper Sumos, so let's find out if Tony Hawk's Boom Boom Sabotage is the second worst cartoon ever in no particular order. The battle for survival begins. Unexpectedly, the character we get to know the most and are first introduced to is the evil but sympathetic ringmaster Grimly. The mayor has forced Grimly Circus to unfairly leave town in favor of constructing a new skate park. But whatever, next we're introduced to one of our protagonists with the skateboarding montage. And now we're back to Grimly, reasoning with the unfortunately shaped mayor who wants the circus out even though his cousin owns it. They're cousins, these two. What a dick. Nobody likes clowns and penny whistles! Nobody! What cousin? But now, back to the kids skateboarding in another montage. Yeah. Oh, we're back here again. Is Grimly the main character? I don't know. The mayor asks Grimly to leave, which causes Grimly to become a 2D object swims towards a volcano, and gets more fucking pissed than a man with a bladder problem having sex, causing his exit and vow of revenge. But finally we meet the kids, introducing School Shooter, Steve from Blue's Clues, White Kid Who Bought 50 Cent Bulletproof on Release Day, Girl, and little shit. Look out for that one, he's a little barrel of dynamite. Now, a simple story should have, you know, distinct characters with personality and development. Well, you get nothing. The characters don't learn anything by the end and you barely know them. That is some sick beats, yo. I guess you have a ghetto white kid and mischievous young skater with an older, responsible sister, kind of like Otto and Reggie from uh, Rocket Power. But these kids need an authority figure watching over them. So here's Frank. You remind me of this one young sprog I trained in the force. Gung-ho kid, always fangs out and ready for action. Oh, come on, Frank. Not another one of your old Air Force stories. We heard them all a hundred times. Oh my gosh, Grandpa. Why do you always have to brag about how you fought for our country? God. Man, Stan Lee will cameo in anything at this point. Excelsior! That means DC's for douchebags. Nuff said. No, he's some groundskeeper who has connections to somebody special. Please welcome the only professional skateboarder in the universe. Tony Hawk. Oh, and Tony's personal driver is also mentioned. I'm sure he won't be important to the plot later on. That guy's haircut looks like a Stride Gum logo. We're now treated to, oh, a skateboarding montage. 
Tony tells the kids their city is going to have a Boom Boom Huck Jam, which is a real-life extreme sports spectacle tour this movie exists to promote. But it's not 100% a circle jerk. For one thing, Tony Hawk isn't treated as some perfect god of skateboarding here. See? Even Tony Hawk has trouble landing some stuff. The movie makes him the butt of the joke very often. Smells like pee pee and poo poo in here. It's gotta be Tony. Oh, Tony, where did it all go wrong? Oh, right. Really should review the rest of the Tony Hawk game someday. We see the inside of the stadium where Boom Boom Hug Jam will take place and learn little shit standing on this catwalk can survive a 50 foot drop. I guess this means we get another montage. Oh, thank God it's over. Tony Hawk is dead. You know, when Tony Hawk is dead and buried, you know what they're going to call it? Tony Hawk's Underground. <laughs> Was that joke too soon or not soon enough? Tony feels it's best to take a break, but he never returns, leaving his skateboard and backpack behind. Check this. Laptop, PDA, MP3 player? Dude's got tech gear for days. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Did that hurt? Cause I can use my deck next time. Whoa, Blair. Either you need to enunciate or this movie got real progressive real fast. Good on you if it's the latter. Wondering if Tony's all right, the kids visit his hotel room, but are hesitant on disturbing his break. So what'd you think? It's an emergency cut. We gotta risk it. Enjoy those two seconds of sexual tension. It never gets brought up again. Maybe one of Tony's skater friends, DJ, knows what's wrong. We think Tony got hauled off against his will. He's always getting hauled off here and there to things he doesn't like doing. Press junkets, voice records for lame animated features. See? See? We all know this is bullshit. Well, maybe Tony is just resting. Let's just take a break too and have a skateboarding montage. This time they recorded on their crappy video camera, but something's amiss about the recording they just filmed seconds ago. What's going on back there? Hey, isn't that DJ? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that looks like DJ. That totally looks like DJ. Isn't that DJ? Yeah. Who are the creeps tossing him around? Hmm, yes. That is strange with this footage we just recorded seconds ago. If only we could still be there when this was filmed, literally seconds ago, on the area we're standing on. What could be going on in this area that we just filmed seconds ago that we're still standing on? Hmm... Oh wait! They're still there, you little fucks! You are watching. Sports. Nick Gas. Now back to the ultimate test of courage. Nickelodeon Guts. You little fucks. The circus freaks and Tony's driver are kidnapping pro skaters as the kids give chase, but only the youngest one, Little Shit, catches up and grabs on for dear life. Hold on, Jesse! Yes, Jesse, hold on and make sure to follow these potentially violent kidnappers alone where no one can hear you scream for life. Instead of calling the police, the kids themselves chase the truck to the outskirts of town and follow a trail of junk Jesse dropped from the top of the truck. Okay, I'm not a scientist here, but it's a straight line. How much crap is on that truck? Don't you want to save some if they make a turn? Get the hell off my camera! <laughs> Jesse falls off the truck for being a little shit, but he knows where the carnies went. Into that reservoir, dog. And now guess. I want you to guess what fucking happens next. What do you think in this straight-to-video shitter happens next using your context clues? God 
fucking damn it. Skate, skate, skate. Holy shit, Tony and the rest of the kidnapped skaters could be getting anally wrecked in Clown Town, but instead of calling the police or going to his rescue, you leisurely partake in a skateboarding montage. And you think, well, they're still on their way, but no, they're clearly doing moves that slow down their progress. If they mess up a trick, they go back and redo the trick. They go back and redo the trick. Look at these fucking kids. They stop what they're doing just to watch each other shred. But finally, the montage is over and it's already sunset. Way to go. So you find anything? Nothing. Find what? Are you looking for the kidnapper's truck? Because clearly it's not there. You're not gonna find it by going back and doing another trick over and over again until you get it right. This isn't like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater where if you do a trick properly, you unlock a new area. That doesn't happen here, you assholes. But, but it's okay, it's okay. They're, they're done shredding. So, you know, now they can concentrate on finding Tony. So you find anything? <sighs> Nothing. Look! Tomorrow is a far way. Kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Tony Hawk is dying. Why would you save him? Please, call the police. Anybody but you. Please, somebody, someone help Tony. Come on. Come on in, Switch. The water's perfect. Whatever. Right now, there's far more important things to do. I get past leveling. You people are fucking scum. Oh, but look, finally. A lead, a tunnel. Let's just go there since I, I guess that's where Tony is and the rest of the plot. Oh, fuck them. Pick, come on, come on, picture this with me. What if in the movie Taken, Lemon Nielsen ventures to Paris to rescue his kidnapped daughter, except he does so while rowing a fucking gondola and singing opera for an hour? What's that sound? Oh yeah! Those are some mad beats, yo! I don't even have the energy anymore. So, they hide in some opening that clearly wasn't there before as gangsta clowns roll by. How convenient they didn't see these kids or their glowing flashlights strapped onto them. Come on, let's follow. Yes, let's follow them with our loud skateboards and lights blaring. They'll never see us coming in their ass. Meanwhile, the pro skaters are imprisoned when this shows up. What the hell is that? Go to your happy place, Tony. Go to your happy place. Nice strap on. <laughs> really? A strap on joke? I can't believe this PG rated kids cartoon made a reference to strap on dildos. Nice strap on. Did no one think of the children? The skater kids arrived just in time to watch Tony being held captive and forced to perform in silly costumes. So the kids record Tony's humiliation for blackmail for evidence. Come on, let's go show this to Frank. No, here's an idea. Let's call the police. At least have one of them mention the police would not believe them anyway. They meet back to the auditorium to tell Stan Lee what happened, who doesn't believe them. So then the kids go back, armed and dangerous, with the perfect weapon. Have you got those leftover fireworks? Yep. Awesome. I've got an idea. Fireworks? This ain't Mexico. Your American fireworks are as useless as your cars. <laughs> Come on. Look at this other guy. That's a kid who knows what cabinet his dad keeps the guns. Despite my judgment, the fireworks proved to be very effective against circus freaks. I think these kids just killed a man. The kids find Tony Hawk and tow him away in a cage. They don't even rescue or mention the other two skaters that were captured. Well, who cares, I guess. Fuck it. Fuck off, man! The chaos spills over to the arena, where all this crap starts to happen and the movie just becomes a mess. I don't even know what's going on anymore. This movie is a mess. Wait, slow that down. That is terrifying. And the climax ends on stuff happening 
And the carny gets taken away. Not by police, but security. Oh, wow. Is security going to ask him to leave the premises? Oh, uh. this movie ends on gangsta clowns. That's the ending, gangsta clowns. Gangsta clowns who aren't evil, I guess. They never intended any harm. Maybe this was just a very popular clown neighborhood. And you know what's messed up? The circus freaks were actually the sympathetic ones dealing with big business from the mayor, who's an asshole, yet he never gets his comeuppance. Smell you later! <laughs> the real evil is still out there and the kids don't know it. Boom Boom Sabotage is nothing more than a tech demo. The skate sequences are cool, but have almost no relevance to the story. It comes off as a promotion for the Tony Hawk Boom Boom Huck Jam live tour. I wouldn't be surprised if this DVD was given out for free when you buy a large popcorn and drink at that show. Considering their other ideas they had for this movie, maybe this was the best they could do. We had a space one. We had a, a French Revolution in the future. It's like a Spy Kids one. Boom Boom Sabotage could have been rocket power done right. But sadly, this rocket went the way of the Challenger. Was that too soon? I know. Let's close this video with an IMDb review from 2007. In my opinion, the movie was good, yeah. It didn't have any funny parts, but it was good. It was about skating. The only reason I think I enjoyed it was because I'm only 12. This person's 21 now. This was better than any video game ever! Except maybe Pro Skater 2. More like Pro Skater 5. Look at what we're launching. Now for N64 and Game Boy Advance, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. We're talking lots of new tricks and hundreds of insane new combos. There's even more courses, a park designer, and a dream team of skaters to choose from. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for N64 and Game Boy Advance, rated E for everyone.